Hey guys, it's SuperFBV here, back at it with another video, and before we start this one, consider subscribing if you want more content just like this, and comment down below if you have any future ideas for future videos, and let's get to it. So today's video is all about uh, transmitter slash radio related upgrades that you can make. I'm going to talk about three main upgrades, ranging from cheap to still pretty cheap to uh, cons sort of expensive, um, and uh, I'll explain to you what each of the upgrades will do to you, and how much it's going to help. Uh, whether or not it's going to help that much and uh yeah pretty that's pretty much it so um all of these upgrades are subjective uh it's all up to you whether or not you guys actually want to uh invest the money in uh, bettering your equipment i've seen people who fly uh, brilliantly like exponentially better than i do uh and i fly really bad but uh like <laughs> like amazing like amazing like brilliant flyers who fly with bare stock controller stuff but um I mean, for me, I I I, um, I thought uh, these upgrades would would help me, <laughs> uh, and uh, I feel like they have. So the first upgrade that I would consider would be a strap like this, one that goes around your neck and hooks onto your controller like this. Most controllers have uh, a little horse, not a horseshoe, like a little bracket kind of thing that comes with the controllers, um, where you can actually attach a uh, a lanyard like this or like a like a, a strap like this. Um, but if your controller does not, I'm pretty sure you can actually get one, uh, for like around, uh, two to three dollars as an attachment for your specific controller. Uh, and, um, a lanyard like this will cost like about five or six bucks, I believe. Mine came free with my controller, which is actually pretty nice. Um, but I'll be honest, I neglected this thing in the beginning. I never used it, never touched it. I just put it to the side. I was like, oh, okay, cool, free lanyard, cool. What am I supposed to do, attach it to my car keys? Like, um, I kind of, I literally put it to the side and I said, no, I don't need this thing. Why would I need this thing? But little did I know, this small thing that came with the controller actually improved my flying experience significantly. I feel like this is the cheapest and best upgrade that you can do to your controller and to your flying experience um, because it increase it gives you a level of consistency every time you pick up your controller and put it around your this thing around your neck and start flying it's at the same level on your body every single time um before i was flying with just by just holding the controller in my hand and uh between packs let's say three packs i would fly um one the first pack would probably be at like waist level and then the second pack will be like ab level and then the third pack will probably be like chest level because I keep moving it because there's no stable like set point that this thing can rest on uh, and having this lanyard uh, really helps with just setting the controller at a fixed point every time and every time you fly whether it be today or a month from now or a year from now it'll be at the same position and uh, it'll help you with that consistency because I feel like the best way to improve flying is by being consistent and not changing everything every time you fly so this will help with that and also it alleviates uh, it alleviates the weight of the controller I know controllers don't weigh that much but it does alleviate the controller weight and the stress uh, that like kind of like bears down on you when you're flying for like four or five minutes or if you're flying a long range like two, up to 20 minutes you know just that bearing weight of the controller even though it doesn't really weigh more than like two or three pounds you know it's uh it 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 helps a lot so next thing i want to talk about are custom stick ends and i have a tyrannus qx7 um and for the qx7 there are four main options that are made by fr sky there are also third party options that uh, i could have considered but these are the ones that i chose um because they suit my specific needs not uh all uh, controller manufacturers have custom stick ends available. I, I believe FlySky does and FR Sky does, and then uh, I, uh, the other big uh, manufacturer of radios also has it. Um, but uh, yeah, I would suggest uh, looking into what kind of options are available for your specific controller, and then uh, taking my advice um, in terms of what what. Uh, stick ends are meant for what purpose let's get to it so why do you want custom stick ends well mainly because uh, these stick ends are suited uh, specifically or tailored made specifically for specific kinds of flying styles I fly a pinch hybrid which is a thumb on top and a pinch on the side like this uh, there are people who fly straight up just thumb only and then there are people who fly just pinch like this 
Uh, and then I, I don't know, there's probably some other weird wacko style like, like that. I don't know. <laughs> so, um, uh, these are the FR Sky, uh, Grand Lotus thumbsticks. Um, these are meant for pincher, pinch hybrids like me, where I grab it on the side like this and then thumb it like that. Um, I'll show you on the other stick as well, like that. The wider the top, the more suited it is for straight thumbers, like people who just use thumb alone, like a joystick. The smaller the top and like, you know, if it's like relatively wide like this one and it has like a curve on the side, uh, that's meant for pinch hybrids like me. Uh, if it straight up looks like a pole, which they do, FR Sky makes one called the pole, uh, that's meant for pinchers who grab it like this. And then the Lotus, which is a grippier pole, uh, is straight up meant for pinchers as well because it, it has like far more like grip and it's like CNC aluminum grip. So it's like pretty sharp on the, on your fingers uh, and your grip will not slide off. The other reason I would suggest buying a custom made one is because the stock ones aren't uh, necessarily uh, highly adjustable. Uh, mine were slightly adjustable, but not as adjustable as I would want it to be. These have adjustable, uh, uh, like, uh, like a nut inside of it that allows you to adjust it and lift it up to the height you like. It's only like seven bucks. So uh, for me, seven bucks seems uh, reasonable for me to get uh, a pretty much tailor made uh, uh, stick end meant for my flying style or technique now again I've seen people fly with the stock ones incredibly amazing uh, Flying uh, with the stock stick ends, but for me, I felt like this gave me an extra bit of uh, Control and I felt like I was able to control the the sticks better and get like a much better grip onto it because it is CNC aluminum this specific one uh, I don't know about all the other third-party options, but this specific one was uh is like CNC aluminum, so it's very grippy, and my, my thumbs haven't slipped off of it since. Uh, so uh, I just felt like I had more control with with uh, custom stick in. So again, I uh, I suggest you go out and uh, if you don't own an FR Sky, uh, go look at what options that are available for your specific controller and controller ecosystem, uh, and then choosing uh, based off of what options you have. Again, the like the wider the top is, the more uh, suitable for thumbs. Um, and then like the more straightforward, more like a pole kind of thing is meant for uh, pinchers. Uh, and then an in-between is is a thumb hybrid, pinch hybrid guy like like uh, like me. Uh, so uh, yeah, that's it for uh, custom stick ends. If you do have an FR Sky transmitter, I will link the four options that I recommend uh, for the four different people. And I'll, I'll put like a little caption saying what's meant for what. Uh, and you guys can follow the link and buy yourself a pair of uh, custom stick ends. So yeah. The next thing I want to talk about are gimbals. These are the Hall Sensor Gimbals. Uh, now this is where people kind of get a little controversial saying, oh, it doesn't necessarily make you fly better. It's just kind of a, a want rather than a need. Uh, so these gimbals, I believe, were like $25 a piece, so 25, 25, 50 bucks. Uh, so why do you want Hall Sensor Gimbals? These are more reliable because they don't have a mechanical thing rubbing against each other like the other ones do these are the stock gimbals that came with my controller uh it's a little dusty because i had them uh, uh sitting out in uh in, in a box but these are the stock ones and this is how it moves uh there is a mechanical uh sensor that kind of rubs on each other that allows the uh uh, the signal to be actually transmitted through the wires into your into your con uh, controllers uh, uh, like you know system uh, versus this one uh, has magnetic like levitation technology or whatever uh, crap it is uh, it it doesn't actually have a physical thing rubbing against each other um, and it just has uh, like like literally magnets kind of gliding past each other that allows for for the signal uh, and it's supposed to be more accurate um, of, a, of a signal uh, and supposed to be more reliable because there's no actual mechanical parts rubbing against each other 
Um, so why do I recommend them? I recommend them, uh, even though they are actually quite expensive, I recommend them because in the long run, they are more reliable. And, uh, ever since I switched to them, I felt like I've had a much more smoother flying experience because they do feel slightly more smooth. And I felt like it was more of a accurate representation of what I, uh, what I'll want to actually do with the sticks. So when I'm actually flying, I felt like every movement was actually translated, uh, more pr uh, precisely than, the uh, on the uh, the stock ones um, I, that could be a placebo um, again that's why it's why uh, you know the whole this whole area, section of the video is it's kind of like a big disclaimer kind of thing um, I didn't believe it at first uh, I saw a bunch of youtubers saying oh the hall sensory gimbals are awesome and I, I bought them uh, and I didn't believe it at first but then when I actually started using it and getting used to it I was like okay this does feel actually significantly better uh, to where I could justify the extra 50 bucks um, now uh, again told you just like before I reiterate people can fly brilliantly without any of these uh, upgrades that I mentioned uh, and for me I kind of uh, I, I spent the money just to see what's what um, and you guys benefit from that because I made I'm making this video so <laughs> um, yeah that's pretty much it uh, I don't really want to go super deep dive into the science behind Hall sensory gimbals and why they're better there are many other videos that go like super deep into it um, this is just an introductory video to say hey these Hall sensor gimbals are an option um, and I recommend them uh, even though they are kind of pricey now all not all uh, transmitter manufacturers make uh, Hall sensor gimbals that you can actually pop on into uh, your controller. Uh, I know FR Sky does because I have an FR Sky transmitter, and FR Sky pretty much is, seems to be the staple uh, when it comes to analog FPV. Now, one thing I want to talk about before we actually conclude conclude the video and end the video off uh, is that all these upgrades I would recommend making pretty early on into the game, unless you're actually like already pretty good at FPV um, because again going back to the theme of consistency once you actually get consistent with your current controller setup and then switch over to this new setup uh, with like the new sticks and the new hall sensor gimbals and and like a strap when you're not you really used to a strap um, then your flying might take uh, a turn for the worst for a little bit until you actually get reused to the new setup so uh, that's a risk that uh, if you're willing to make um, and uh, you're willing to sacrifice a little bit of your flying, uh, uh, like, you know, comfortness for quite a little bit for the long run, because in the long run, this will make you a better flyer with the stick ends tailored for your specific technique uh, and the consistency that, that a strap will bring you and the reliability that a hall sensor gimbal will bring you as well. So to conclude the video, I recommend three main things. I highly recommend getting a strap that you can actually strap onto your uh, transmitter uh, because it'll increase your consistency. And I also recommend getting stick ends. I, uh, I do recommend the Hall sensor gimbals, but uh, if it's out of your budget, no fret, no sweat, you know, I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a want rather than a need. And it is, it's nice to have but not necessarily need to have. So um, I do, I still do recommend Hall sensor gimbals, but not as much as I recommend getting a strap because this does increase uh, consistency. So uh, yeah, comment down below if you guys have any questions. Remember to like, and if you like the video, please do consider subscribing. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll uh, see you in the next one.